Right now, deep in the California desert, America's most advanced weapon is being born. It's invisible to radar. It thinks for itself. And it's about to change warfare forever. The B-21 Raider isn't just another bomber. It's a flying supercomputer armed with artificial intelligence that can outsmart any enemy before they even know it's there. While Russia and China struggle with prototypes that don't work, we've already got 40 of these beasts rolling off the assembly line. The future of air dominance isn't coming. It's already here. Welcome to Jet Insight, where we bring you the most compelling stories about America's military might. Today, we're diving deep into the B-21 Raider, the most secretive, most advanced, and most lethal bomber ever built. This isn't science fiction. This is real technology that's flying right now, and the artificial intelligence packed into this aircraft is unlike anything our adversaries have ever seen. Stick with us, because what you're about to learn will blow your mind. If you agree that American innovation leads the world, type PROUD in the comments below. The Game Changer is already flying. Let's start with something incredible. On September 11th, 2025, the second B-21 Raider took off from Palmdale, California, and joined the test program at Edwards Air Force Base. That might sound like just another test flight, but here's what makes it extraordinary. This aircraft had already flown hundreds of virtual missions before it ever left the ground. How is that possible? The answer is artificial intelligence and something called a digital twin. Engineers at Northrop Grumman created an exact virtual copy of the B-21. Every wire, every sensor, every system and ran it through over 200 simulated flights. That's more than a thousand flight hours in a computer before the real plane ever touched the sky. When test pilots finally climbed into the cockpit, they said the handling was better than the simulations predicted. Think about that. We've gotten so good at digital engineering that we can perfect an aircraft before it exists. But here's the kicker. We're not building just one or two of these. Right now, nearly 40 B-21 Raiders are in various stages of production. 40. Our competitors don't even have one that works. China's H-20 stealth bomber, still years away from being operational. Russia's PAKDA program, stuck in development hell with no working prototypes. Meanwhile, America is cranking out sixth generation bombers like a well-oiled machine. The Air Force originally planned to buy a hundred of these, but word is that number could jump to 145. Why? Because this bomber is so effective, so adaptable, and so far ahead of anything else that military planners want more of them. And unlike the B-2 Spirit, which cost over $2 billion per plane, the B-21 comes in at around $800 million. That's still a lot of money, but for what you're getting, it's a steal. AI that thinks faster than the enemy. Now let's talk about what makes this bomber truly revolutionary. The artificial intelligence built into every system. This isn't your phone's voice assistant. This is combat grade A, I designed to process information, make decisions, and execute missions faster than any human ever could. Imagine you're a pilot flying the B-21 deep into enemy territory. You're surrounded by advanced air defenses, enemy fighters are scrambling, and threats are popping up from every direction. In older aircraft, you'd be drowning in data, radar screens, threat warnings, navigation systems, all demanding your attention at once. But in the B-21, Artificial intelligence does the heavy lifting. The AI constantly monitors every sensor, processes all incoming data, and presents the pilot with only what matters. It doesn't just tell you there's a threat. It tells you what kind of threat, where it's coming from, and what your best options are. It handles the routine procedural tasks, checking avionics, managing altitude and speed, organizing sensor information, so the pilot can focus on the big picture making strategic decisions and completing the mission. And here's where it gets really interesting. The B-21's AI adapts in real time. If the situation changes, the AI changes with it. New threat appears, the AI recalculates your best route. Enemy radar locks on, the AI suggests countermeasures. This is what Air Force officials mean when they talk about owning the OODA loop. Observe, orient, decide, act. The faster you can complete that cycle, the more you dominate the battlefield. And with AI processing data at lightning speed, the B-21 completes that loop before the enemy even knows what's happening. Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us. 
But the AI doesn't just help the pilot. It also helps the aircraft survive. The B-21 features something called multi-sensor fusion. This means the AI takes data from radar, infrared sensors, electronic warfare systems, and passive detection equipment, then stitches it all together into one complete picture of the battlefield. Where older systems would show separate pieces of information, the B-21's AI combines everything into a single, clear understanding of what's happening around you. The Digital Bomber Revolution Here's something that separates the B-21 from every other military aircraft. It's a digital-first platform. What does that mean? Traditional aircraft are designed, built, tested, and then upgraded in blocks, major overhauls that happen every few years. The B-21 throws that model out the window. This bomber uses what's called open systems architecture. Think of it like a smartphone. When Apple wants to add new features to your iPhone, they don't make you buy a new phone. They just push a software update. The B-21 works the same way. New weapon system, software update. Better targeting algorithms, software update. Enhanced electronic warfare capabilities, software update. This is a massive game changer. In the past, Upgrading military aircraft took years and cost billions. New equipment had to be designed, tested, certified, and physically installed. With the B-21, upgrades happen through software. The hardware is already built to handle it. Northrop Grumman and the Air Force have already cut software certification time in half compared to older programs like the F-35. And because the B-21 is built in a cloud environment with a digital twin, engineers can test upgrades virtually before they ever touch the real aircraft. They can run thousands of simulations, identify problems, fix them in the digital world, and then push the perfected upgrade to the real bombers. This means the B-21 will never become outdated. As threats evolve, the bomber evolves with them, instantly. But here's what really keeps our adversaries up at night. The B-21 is designed to operate as part of a networked family of systems. It doesn't just fly alone. It connects with satellites, other aircraft, ground stations, and even unmanned drones, sharing data across the entire battle space. The bomber becomes a node in a massive information network, collecting intelligence, coordinating attacks, and managing operations across multiple domains, air, land, sea, space, and cyber. Battle Manager in the Sky Let's talk about something the Air Force calls battle management. The B-21 isn't just a bomber, it's a flying command center. Remember when we talked about multi-sensor fusion and networking? Here's where it all comes together. Picture a future combat scenario. The B-21 penetrates deep into contested airspace where no other aircraft can survive. Its stealth keeps it hidden, but its sensors are working overtime, collecting massive amounts of intelligence. Radar signatures, electronic emissions, communications intercepts. The bomber is vacuuming up everything. That data isn't just stored. It's processed by AI, analyzed for threats and opportunities, and then transmitted back to commanders in real time. But it doesn't stop there. The B-21 can also control other assets. Air Force planners have discussed using the bomber to direct unmanned drones, what they call loyal wingmen, that fly alongside or ahead of the bomber. These drones can carry sensors, weapons, or jamming equipment. They can probe enemy defenses, drawing fire away from the manned bomber. They can strike targets while the B-21 stays safe at a distance. And all of this is coordinated by AI systems that work faster and more efficiently than any human crew could manage alone. Now, the Air Force did scrap plans for a dedicated B-21 drone wingman back in 2022, after analysis showed it wouldn't be cost-effective. But the concept of manned-unmanned teaming is very much alive. The B-21 can work with existing drones and future platforms, using its AI to orchestrate complex operations across the battlefield. Here's why this matters. In future wars, information dominance will be just as important as firepower. The side that sees the battlefield more clearly, processes information faster, and coordinates its forces more effectively, will win. The B-21's AI gives America that edge. While enemy commanders are still trying to figure out what's happening, our forces have already acted. And let's not forget the psychological impact. Imagine being an enemy air defense operator. You know the B-21 exists. You know it can strike anywhere. But you can't see it. You can't track it. And by the time you realize it's there, it's too late. That uncertainty, that fear, is a weapon all by itself. Stealth that evolves, 
Some experts have raised concerns that new technologies like quantum radar and AI-driven sensor fusion might eventually defeat stealth. And they're not entirely wrong to think about future threats. But here's the thing, the B-21 was designed with this in mind. Yes, detection technology is improving. AI can help stitch together tiny radar returns, infrared signatures, and other clues to build a picture of where a stealth aircraft might be. But detecting something and shooting it down are two completely different challenges. Even if an enemy system picks up a faint signal that suggests something is out there, they still have to track it, lock onto it, and guide a weapon to it. All while the B-21 is actively jamming their systems, maneuvering unpredictably, and possibly striking first. And remember that open architecture we talked about? As detection technology evolves, so does the B-21. New radar absorbing materials, software update to optimize their use, better electronic warfare techniques, software update, enhanced decoys or countermeasures. Software update, the bomber adapts as fast as the threats do. The B-21 also benefits from decades of stealth experience. Northrop Grumman built the B-2 Spirit, the most successful stealth bomber in history. The B-2 has been flying since the 1990s, and despite all the advances in radar technology, it still slips through defenses like a ghost. In June of this year, B-2 bombers struck Iranian nuclear facilities in Operation Midnight Hammer, proving that stealth still works even against modern, sophisticated air defenses. The B-21 takes all those lessons learned and pushes them even further. It's smaller than the B-2, which means a smaller radar cross-section. It uses newer materials and manufacturing techniques, and it's built from the ground up to integrate AI-powered electronic warfare systems that can actively confuse and blind enemy radars in ways the B-2 never could. Around this point, if you're a military veteran or just someone who loves learning about America's armed forces, there's a growing community of folks just like you who share your passion. It's always good to connect with people who appreciate what our military does to keep us safe. The human element. With all this talk about artificial intelligence, you might be wondering, does the pilot even matter anymore? Absolutely. And here's why. AI is incredible at processing data, running calculations, and executing pre-programmed responses. But it can't replace human judgment, intuition, and adaptability. War is unpredictable. Situations arise that no algorithm can anticipate. That's where the human pilot comes in. The AI in the B-21 doesn't replace the pilot. It empowers them. By handling routine tasks and organizing information, the AI frees the pilot to think strategically, make tough calls, and adapt to the unexpected. It's a partnership. The AI does what computers do best, process massive amounts of data instantly. The human does what humans do best, make complex decisions based on experience, ethics, and situational awareness. And there's another critical reason why humans stay in the loop, especially for nuclear missions. The B-21 is a dual-capable bomber, meaning it can carry both conventional and nuclear weapons. When it comes to nuclear operations, human decision-making is non-negotiable. AI will never have the authority to launch nuclear weapons. That responsibility rests solely with human commanders and operators, as it should. Air Force General Thomas Bussiere, who leads Global Strike Command, made this crystal clear when he said that AI offers significant potential in supporting nuclear deterrence, particularly in processing intelligence and enhancing communications. But it will never replace human decision-making in nuclear operations due to the mission's critical nature. So while the B-21's AI makes it smarter, faster, and more lethal, the human element remains at the heart of every mission. That combination, cutting-edge technology guided by American courage and judgment, is what makes this bomber unstoppable. The B-21 Raider represents more than just a new bomber. It's proof that American innovation, ingenuity, and determination remain unmatched. While our adversaries struggle to catch up, we're already building the next generation. With artificial intelligence woven into every system, the B-21 doesn't just dominate future air wars. It redefines them. The men and women who design, build, and fly these aircraft are the best in the world. And as long as America continues to invest in platforms like the B-21, our skies will remain ours. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit that like button and subscribe to Jet Insight for more stories about the incredible technology defending our nation. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.